Oh, we set a cock off with Lizanna. Giant little line of hobo depot. <laughs> All right, so look. Like today, I'm working on this bass called a Mark T. M-A-R-K-T. I never heard of it. Uh, never heard of it. I saw her. I, I, I said I saw her. I saw her. That's not right. I saw her. I saw the bass on Marketplace. The guy uh, put the bass on Marketplace to sell. And um, a friend of mine, another bass player musician from, from the Richmond area, bought it. And um, when they came in the shop, we looked it over. He brought it so I can look it over. And uh, the preamp is working, but it's not working. All right, so there's a preamp that was in it. Uh, the bass itself is beautiful. I, I, I don't even know what it is. It's a neck through jazz bass, five string jazz. And it's absolutely, actually beautiful. Look at that. I mean, for what you can see without the tape. It's all neck through one piece. It's just, it's just a well-made bass that has well-made issues. <laughs> can y'all see me smiling under here? You can? Okay. Yeah, it's got, it's got, it's got some serious issues. Uh, one issue is, um, I'm going to show you. Check this out. Well, you can tell that I've been uh, filing the press down. Uh, the neck is not perfect. All right? So the frets are leveled now. I want you to look at something. I'm going to show you something. See that? Can y'all see that? Can you see that? Wait, I'm going to put it right here. See that? See that? See that? See that? 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 And then down here, one or two. What that is? It is breaking. Heartbreaking. Why do you say heartbreak? Well, it's uh, it's a fretboard separating. That's what it is. And it could, it could be because it came from a different climate. And it could be because they didn't take care of it. Uh, I can see it's whiting out. So it's a little like more of a compositive kind of wood. But I can feel the hump in it. To let me know that that truss rod is not friendly to me. So I'm not gonna, I'm not going to deal with that truss rod. I'm just going to deal with putting that preamp in it. And I hate to say that because... Dealing with this truss rod, at any time, it could just pop through and say, Hello! <laughs> we don't want that! So, I mean, if you rub your hands across it, you can tell that that, fret, that, that, that truss rod is not friendly inside there. In fact, she's like a volcano get ready to erupt. I said erupt! <laughs> well, that's what it's about to do. But... Like I told the player, a friend of mine, I was like, yo, man, play it until it pop out and shout at you. <laughs> and then you can put it down. Because it's, I mean, if you can see the front of it, it's actually beautiful. You know, that's some pretty wood, man. That, this is some pretty, you can't really see it because the tape is all over it. And this is in a way, but you can't really, really see it. But it's actually really beautiful. It's really, really, really pretty. So, so it gets a tone monster because the preamp that was in it was not friendly. <laughs> it was an unfriendly amp. Oh, it was an unfriendly, unfriendly amp. So we're gonna put a tone monster in it. Wow. We're gonna put one of those in it. And then she's on, and she's got EMGs in it already. So she's gonna pop. So that's what we're doing here, folks, at the Hobo Depot. Uh, so we got to wait for the parts to come in. Everything else is already done. My trusty brush to clean my neck off, as you can see. Wait a minute. Oh, you almost lost me. You almost lost me. <laughs> so all we have to do now is just wait for the Tone Monster, install all that. Set it up, reset it up, and then go for the gusto. Knock some doors down.
So guys, thanks for checking out my videos. Thanks for dropping by the Hobo Depot. Look, can y'all see my shirt? Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. <laughs> Shut up, All right, so uh, guys, please subscribe. And uh, please stay in touch and be safe. And wear your mask. Whether you're in your house. Well, you ain't really got to wear your house, but I'm in the shop. So I have to wear it. Wear your mask. Stay safe. See you in a little bit. Shut up,